Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box with Technical Trader at TechTrader.com. It's Wednesday, the 23rd, and this is the Charts of the Day video. Um, folks, it was a great day on Wall Street, uh, not very much like Monday, but so far we've had an up, down, and up week. Um, a lot of stocks are acting well in here. Let's take a look at a dozen or so. ACMR, uh, we talked about it yesterday as it broke out today. It had a wonderful follow through up $1.85 or almost 13%. Volume was 2.7 million, which isn't you know, big in essence, but for that stock, it's a big day. It's the biggest volume we've seen on it in months. Um, the target now is 19 and 24 going forward. AGQ is silver, and surge back. This one broke out. We put a swing on it. I like the look of it. I think the stock is going to head to 33 and 36. APLS, um, after the V bottom and the right hand that extended V, we had a breakaway gap today, got up to resistance and backed up a little bit, still finished up 924, a 30% gain. The line was 13.4 million. Next target is going to be 53.4 zone. Now, Fastly came out of a falling worse today and popped 205 or 10%. The line was 4. Point, almost 5 million shares. And you can see that the way it looks here in this rising configuration, that this stock may very well be moving higher. I'm looking for 23 and a half and 25. Fulcrum popped yesterday, pulled back today. It came right back up near resistance. This needs to get over 640. If so, targets. Seven and three quarters and nine and a quarter. Groupon popped also a three day falling wedge, but it's at the top of the channel. Nevertheless, a really nice pattern since the May low and a new rising channel indicates your next target at 16 and a half, three quarters. JNUG, we, along with the a, uh, AGQ day trade, we put on a day trade on JNUG too. Um, I'm sorry, that was not a swing on AGQ, it was a day trade. But both of these. Breaking out of channel channels and through moving averages. Next target on this one, 35 and 39. NVDL, with NVIDIA blowout earnings after hours and the stock running 25 points higher. The tracking stock in NVDL up near 110, and that's gained another 10 points or so. Um, looking really strong in here with my target, 138.40. RCUS with explosive breakaway gap above the moving averages and above resistance into that gap. From back in December, now it needs to fill the gap near 28, and then look at low mid 30s. At CSC also breaking out of a base, got up near resistance today, finished 31.82 up, 3.93 if 14% gain. My target 35. TSAT swing acting great and continuing to push forward, jumped another 209 today to 2208 and it's still moving. Uh, that my swing target of 22 and a half. Maybe met short very, very quickly, but the longer term targets now show high 20s and low to mid 30s. The CIG with a monster breakout day today exploded from 374 to 935. Came all the way back down at 620, still up 244, but it was a beautiful day trade for us. Keep an eye on this one for follow through, and maybe we can get back to 11. And finally, VTEX, thinly traded, but a beautiful base pattern, breakout wedge, and then it's been spiking for three days now, jumped. About 9% today on 2.8 million. It's the highest level we've seen in this stock in a little bit of a, almost a year and a quarter. There's some resistance right there. We went through that. Our next target now is about eight and a half. That's what I'll be looking for in that one. That's it for tonight, everybody. Have a great evening. I'll talk to you tomorrow.